Hey, how is everyone? Lou from RV Habit. And today's project is going to be this stove top. Now, I have a glass stove top cover, and it's a huge improvement over the old metal ones that did nothing but rattle while you went down the road. You couldn't fold them. They were always in the way. I actually really like this glass top cover, but it doesn't do anything for when you're trying to utilize your counter space. You really can't use it for counter space. So my idea is to build a stovetop noodle board that doubles as a cutting board. Now I know Camco sells one and they get great reviews and most people that have them that I've spoken to really, really like them. But we're gonna try and build one. And the first thing I have to do is take some measurements. So it looks like 21 inches deep and we're going to go one inch over the outside of the stove and exactly 25, 25 inches wide. All right, let's get to the workshop. So I have some walnut, some tiger maple, and a really nice piece of cherry to use for this. Um, and I call it a noodle board, a cutting board, because I really want it to serve two purposes. Now you can make a cutting board out of the end grain, the edge grain, or the face grain. It's really the only three uh, ways to do it. And I think I'm going to use face grain because I want this to be thin, like a noodle board, but also function as a cutting board. And this will let me keep it around three quarters of an inch. So this is all uh, rough sawn still, so I still have to mill it. I'm going to mill it, then I'll cut some different width strips and play with a pattern that I like and go from there. I have all my boards cut to different widths. I have them all milled down to the same thickness. And now it's just a matter of playing with the boards to see if I can come up with a pattern I like and move them around a little bit. That's not bad. Actually, I like that one. I think I'm going to stick with this one. Let me get the clamps, we'll glue it up. I have the board all glued up, I have it secured to my table. I'm just gonna clean it up with a hand plane and do some light sanding, then I'll get to the feet. Nice and smooth, so let's take it to the table saw and square it up.
So it's time for the feet. I got these little rubber feet from Rock where it's just um, a screw and like a rubber pad. I'm going to put four on each side because this is long. I don't want it to, to sag from weight or anything like that if we put anything on it. So I'll just uh, I'll find my awl here. Here it is. So I'll just mark a couple spots to drill. Came out so nice, we should brand it. With Here we go. All right, let's turn this over and oil it. This is where all your hard work comes in nice. I'm just using some. Uh, typical cutting board oil and that will make the color and the grain pop on this and it does Nice. All right, I'm going to finish this uh, oiling it on the other side and then meet in the RV. Okay, back in the RV. Now we'll put this in here. Oh, that's perfect. It fits really good. Now you remember I put feet on the sides. It's actually resting on the countertop. So you can put a lot of weight on this. It's not leaning, it's not leaning on the glass top at all. And this is going to allow me to use, I literally gained two extra feet of, of counter space. Fantastic. Now if you can't make one, like I said, Camco does sell one and uh, I'll leave a link below if you're interested in that. But uh, if you can make one, I mean, the options are limitless. This came out fantastic. As always guys, I appreciate you watching and I'll see you soon.